As we continue with section two of lecture two of module five, let's go back to Colossians chapter two, verses 13 and through 15. The words here are very much the words of the legal setting. In fact, the end result, the solution, to the predicament of sin according to this model of law is a document that determines that your debt has been cancelled, that your sins have been cancelled, and this document was nailed to the cross. This is the language of the law and the language of forgiveness of debt in the context of Pax Romana. It's exciting indeed to be forgiven your debt. I have not been forgiven any debt that I am aware of. I would love that. I do have debt. I would love to be forgiven. But this is an exciting language, the forgiveness of our trespasses. One is a party celebrating the return of a son, the reunion in a family setting. The other one is a legal context where we are forgiven our debt and we are given the receipt, the document, the contract. In the context of the first model, which by now you know is my favorite, the gospel model, using the parable as an example, the parable of the prodigal son. We have here the son upon returning to his father. This is a painting by Rembrandt. And this painting by Rembrandt presents to us the picture of the embracement of the son or the, and the embracement of the father for the son and there are people observing looking at what's going on they are not the central characters but they are they are observing the central characters is the father and the son whom has been forgiven Nothing more touching than this reunion. Now, now, question. What kind of response do you think God will have for this reunion and for this forgiveness? Fasten your seatbelt because I have a rendition of a merengue. Merengue is the musical style of the Dominican Republic. And this merengue that I will be showing you, I will be giving you the English words. It's called Toño Rosario Juan en la Gran Ciudad. Here are the words in English. He wanted to enjoy life, so he wanted to go to the big city. My son, there's a lot of bad, vices, woman, betrayal and evil. John did not listen. He wanted to go. The choir sings, and in the big city, one enjoy all. Wines and pleasures. Beautiful woman. One day, Juan found himself without money. All the friends have gone by. They have given him their back. Now, John was alone. 
You started to think. I was happy when I was with dad. Why, why am I here? Now the party begins. Party. The father said, my son has returned. Let us all celebrate. Let's kill a cow and make a stew. The father said, my son has returned. Let us all celebrate. The spirit of the party is all about the return of the son, the family being back together. This is how I imagine the party going on in heaven. This is the repeated words. And the father said to him there, my son has returned. Let's celebrate. Let's do a party. Let's all sing together. This is a party based on the gospel and the return of the sun. My dear students, so the question is, what is the meaning of the gospel? What is the meaning of salvation? I suggest to you that the spirit of a party, because we have returned home, defines best the meaning of the gospel. When the father was able to embrace the son who has returned home, the celebration and the joy of heaven is great. The gospel story is all about being reunited, being together. Let us pray that we can see the God of heaven embracing us and celebrating because we have returned home. I pray that we all have that experience. Thank you.